In this piano tutorial, we will be learning the Christmas song Silent Night in the key of C major. And a bunch of you um, were requesting a Christmas song. So we're going to take this song and I'm going to share my approach to it where I basically play some gospel or jazz chord substitutions and passing chords within this song. OK, so for that first line, Silent Night, Holy Night. Um, I'm going to play it and then explain what I'm doing or thinking behind these chords, okay? Alright, so let, let's leave it up to there and analyze that first line that I played. First of all, what I did or what I'm thinking is trying to maintain the melody of the song within my chords, okay? So that melody note will always be the last note in whichever voicing I choose. So I started off with this voicing for C major, a C major 9, 13, okay? And that's basically just a G major. Sometimes I add the two, and the left hand just plays a C in open voicing, a C major, okay? So, so from here, I went to an F major 9, okay? And the reason why it works is because we're still maintaining that melody note right here, right? It still fits in. Maybe if we had a, if we decided to use a different chord, let's see what, what would happen. Something like a, a 6 chord. You see, it still fits because of this melody note. But I decided to use the 4 chord instead. And then from here... We're still on the same melody, right? It goes, holy night. But in this case, I want to change up um, the progression a bit. Instead of going back to the one, now I play this chord, right? A E half diminished chord. And I'm thinking of a minor two, five, one. So this is my two in this case, right? To go to the five, which is an A7 flat nine and then reach the one, which is in this case, a D minor. So I'm thinking slightly ahead when I'm creating these progressions. So. All is calm. Usually from the two, it tends to want to go to the five, right? All is calm. Right, that would be the, the standard way of playing this part. But instead of doing that, I went from the two to the three. But I played it like this. I played it as a A flat diminished seventh, right? And I'm basically thinking about a E, right? If I add the E, it becomes a E seven flat nine. But I'm going rootless or yeah, rootless where I'm basically just playing a diminished seventh chord. So then this chord is leading on to the six. So I land on the six. And then from here, um, the standard way would be going from the six in this case to a, a C or a one chord, right? But I want to lead to this chord by using some passing chords. So from the six, I'm going to go to the two, then the five, and then the one. And this order of chords are all part of that circle of fifths or fourths, right? So I go from the six to the two, to the five, and then the one. And the chords that I'm using are A minor seven. So I play it in this way. So I go from the 6 to a D7 or a 2, then a G minor 7, and then the 1 chord, which is a C7 flat 9, okay? And this is the voicing that I'm using. And then we land on the 4, uh, a F major 7, okay? And I like doing those little embellishments or grace notes like this just to give it sort of a different dynamic to the chord, okay? So. 
So this is where we left off. And from here, um, if we look at the song, the standard chords, it would go something like right from the four to the one. That would be the standard way, but let's change that up a bit and let's add some chords that are outside of the scale. So we're going to go from the four and it sounds like this. So what I did here was again, thinking about that minor two, five, one. I'm thinking that my one now is a, a three, right? Or E minor seven. So from the four that we were on, I went to a minor two, still thinking about that three as the one, right? Minor two, then a five of that three, which is B7. And then we land on that three. And from here, we go to the six. Okay, so. And from here, instead of going back to the four, we use a substitution for that four, which can be the two. So D minor seven. And we can go back to the four chord. That's something that I like to do often is once I substitute it, I bring it back to the original chord, right? And then I use the passing chord on the seven to go back to the one. So Now from here, um, we're going to go to the seven chord, right? All right, so what I played here was a seven, then a three or E seven flat nine. Then I just changed the voicing for that three, right? It's still a three. So. Sorry. So this is the voicing, the, the secondary voicing for the three. Then we land on the six. And then this chord right here which is just an F sharp half diminished, but I like thinking about this chord as an A minor over F sharp, right? An easier way of thinking about it. And then from here, we just go to the one over five and bring it back to the standard chords. All right, so sleep in this G13 sus, then we resolve to a G7 and we finish the song on the one, okay? So what I want to do now is play through the song slightly improvised and hopefully you're able to capture some new chords or new movements, new progressions from this section of the video, okay? <laughs> 